Hello and welcome back to Stressless Messless. So I thought we'd start off with a bang and do a birthday cake. Now in this series I'm not going to be making every single birthday cake that uh, we talk about. I'm, I'll show you like pictures of ones that I've made. Some, sometimes I haven't got photos because there wasn't a camera at the time and so you'll just have to trust me but these are all things that I have made otherwise I wouldn't be telling you about them um, because obviously I need to be able to say that they're stressless messes in order for that to happen. Um, okay so this first one as you can see is a castle cake. It's probably my favourite. It's so easy to make and there's so much potential for changing it into like a sand castle or a princess castle or any kind of building really. Um, and it's so, so easy. Uh, <laughs> and so basically you just get loads and loads of Battenberg, which we used to call window cake. And as you can see, you use it almost like building blocks um, and you know, the towers, they go up like that, as you can hopefully see. Um, and uh, you don't really need anything to stick them on, but if you want to have a little bit of stability, then maybe use either a dowel or um, or just apricot jam will do, uh, but I didn't bother. I just put them on like that because they're actually quite sticky, aren't they? I like the sponge and stuff. Um, and then just sort of cut out little bits as you can see. And again, it's basically you're, you're using them like building blocks. That's all really I need to say. And then I just had some little wooden soldiers and catapults and things like that to make it sort of more authentic. But um, this was awesome. It was great fun to make. And also you can play with it, of course, which is great. And yeah, it is. It's so, so easy. So easy. And if you wanted to do, um, you know, if you got some marzipan and made like extra bits for it, then, you know, like, a, like a, an edible soldier or whatever, then that's possible. But hey, why do that? It's such a statement piece. And there's a lot of Battenberg involved. A lot. But my thing would be, get plenty and then if you have any leftover then you can just eat them afterwards so that's fine <laughs> but anyway this made for an amazing birthday cake and it lasted for a really long time because Battenberg tends to and yeah it's just beautiful 